Hello world, we're live. Hello world. <laughs> I'm Jikro. This is Yumi. We're doing a Digimon. You can call it a collab. You can call it not a collab, but we're both drawing Terrier and Lotmon, which are two little bunny Digimon. They're kind of seen as twins because in the movie they were twins. They're literally like brown and pink. And then the other one is very similar in design, but in mint. So it's like cho strawberry choco and mint. <laughs> Yeah, cuties. I have a sketch ready. But then again, this is like for a phone screen, so I should probably copy it onto a bigger canvas. I'm gonna I'll check out your stream as well. Just make sure everything's okay. I do have audio checks as well. I don't like you can do audio checks in app. I don't trust it because twice I've opened the the YouTube the actual YouTube app and gone to the live stream that way and then my audio wasn't working so I always do an audio check where I just open it it just feels easier so I'm going to do the audio check uh, uh, now, one moment seems fine, it seems fine I just, I'm just looking at my phone I mean I hear you fine so Okay, I can hear you, you're a little bit quiet, but I just need to turn the audio up and we'll be good. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, we're in the server talking. We're not in a private chat. Hold on, just volume. Is it the same way? It is. Good. Okay, I'm good to go. <laughs> no! <laughs> Lost to the abyss. I can't even find. I have to go through my playlist. No, I have to go through Spooky to find your channel. Fair. But how does it feel to be streaming again? You've not been live in a while. And now you're back with some cute digital bunnies. How do you feel? motivated because uh uh Terrymon is cute and I can't find a profile so I'll have to do this on computer now. <laughs> it's very very cute. Find you. So I have okay, I'm so dumb. I've been trying to find you on Twitch and I'm like where are you? You're on Twitch <laughs> Oh god I'm so embarrassed so I did do some Digimon recently. I did the Palmon in a bunch of different fashion and poses. This is one of them. So I'm thinking similar, but this one has balloons. Astro Blaze, what a Digimon. <laughs> yes, so Yumi is here. We're going to be doing Digimon together. I'm doing Lotmon and she's doing Heriomon. They go together. Do not separate them. Are you thinking this thickness on mine art? Yeah, I think that's like, ah, there's like standard thickness that I want and then I weight the line up and then it'll match the other one. Okay. How have you been, Astro Blaze? Have you been at work today? Have you seen a Digimon before in your life? <laughs> <laughs> Just never before witnessed a Digimon. Because we were talking about Digimon the other day, and we were just like, every opinion we had on the characters in Digimon was like, same! Same brain cell! Q. 
cute. I'm hoping. I was hoping I'd be able to get this all done in one stream, but now that I think about it, I went and added loads of detail to the balloons instead of just drawing balloons. So now I'm not so sure it's doable uh, in one stream. <laughs> Did you find the channel, Yumi? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm so embarrassed. Was it on YouTube by any chance? Huh? Was it on YouTube by any chance? Oh my god. All this time, I thought <laughs> you were on Twitch. Oh, it was... Oh, this is what I get for not streaming. This whole time it's been YouTube. Oh, this whole time. Yeah. I'm so like, Pebble. My, my brain is somewhere else. That's why like my Twitch is like empty, but if you go on YouTube now, now I've got like a category at the top where it's like videos and shorts and lives is also up there. And there's like loads of live streams in there. I've been hiding over on this website instead. <laughs> oh no, it was even like it was much worse. I it led me to your Instagram. I'm like, huh? Why is it going to your Instagram? And then I'm like, oh no. So you're not on Twitch. Where are you then? Where are you live? I'm hiding. YouTube. Oh my god. Mr. Blaze never not once. You've never heard of a Digimon. No one has ever mentioned Digimon to you in your entire life. For context here, Squeaky plays the TCG a lot, and he also plays the video games, so... <laughs> As for his work was fine, got the weekend off now. What are you going to do for your weekend? Are you going to do some zombie animation? Or are you going to go and romance your, your uh, husbandos on Baldur's Gate? Husbandos, I approve. I also have a bunch of husbandos. A husbando moment. Mr. Blaze is sat here like... <laughs> hmm, what should I do? <laughs> Quality time with the husbandos. So I know these guys actually, they have like, I'm doing their little nub hand. <laughs> I don't know. I don't You're with noobs. <laughs> How did you choose to go about the hand? About the hand? Yeah, the, the like finger noobs. 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 Tis I'm the like way. A bunch of sausage fingers coming out. Sausage. <laughs> Pretty much, same. Astro Blaze, no, I'm going to romance my waifus on Baldur's Gate. Oh, even better. You're going for the lava woman, aren't you? I, I, or is that a different game? I don't know. I've not played Baldur's Gate. You know, like Adventure Time and Finn dates. Lame princess, and she's made of fire. And there's an episode where he just turns himself into like a tinfoil burrito just to give her a hug. Yeah, he like wraps himself up in tinfoil and he looks like a foil wrapped burrito. And he's done all that just to, so he can give her a hug. And then she goes and like marries Cinnamon Bun. She doesn't actually marry Cinnamon Bun, but he's the one that she ends up friends with for some reason. Which is... So Yumi, do you currently have a favourite Digimon? What was your favourite Digimon as a kid, actually? I know we have, we, we just... <laughs> just Wizardmon. <laughs> When Wizardmon was like neglected, I cried and I didn't even bother watching. That's why I watched all the way to season three, and then I just dropped it. Why would you kill? Why? Why would you do that? Why? Perished. 
It was really sad. Yeah, my favorite was um, Piomon because cute pink bird, uh, Gatomon because I have eyes, Anjawamon and Anjamon because I have eyes. Uh, they were all like, and Palmon was cute flower girl, I have eyes. But my favorite favorite was um, Lilimon, which is like a pink flower fairy. She's really, really cute. She's so pretty. Uh, so yes, those were all my favorites. And then when we got as far as discovering Wizardmon, I really liked him. And then he went and died. And I was like, oh. Astro Blaze. No Lava Woman is in a couple of playthroughs time. Currently dating the secret evil lady with my evil lady character. It's like my me we I my plans for this weekend is uh to get married in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> then I send that gif in the in the chat. Private is it in private let me see which chat though. Which one? Oh. Oh no! Why <laughs> you just send me his execution scene? Why would you do this? She sent just a gif of the scene where Wizardmon dies. And that when Digimon die, they just kind of digitally ev evaporate. Yeah. So sad. It's so sad. I might just cry. Again. <laughs> cry again. I know Hikari was one of my favorite characters, but um, she has nothing on Mimi. Mimi was my super favorite to the extent. Mm. So, like, Mimi has pink cowboy hat. I'll get a picture for chat just in case. Digimon no Mimi, go. Show me the girl. No, with the cowboy hat. Well, she's had two different variations, but in season, the first ever, like, series and seasons, she has a pink cowboy hat. And then as a child, I was obsessed with the idea of getting a pink cowboy hat like Mimi's. Okay, I'm back. This character. Oh, she big. Um, but I was obsessed with getting a pink cowboy hat and I couldn't find one anywhere. And then I eventually did. And it was Spain. I found one in Spain on holiday. And you know what, Yumi? Um, customs almost took it off me. That was it had like a big pink cowboy hat and once i found it it was like i was wearing it i was rocking it and then when it came to getting on the plane and my parents were like okay so you're going to be on a long plane ride you need to dress comfortably and i was like i understand that and i have my comfy outfit that also takes into account but it's going to be cold when we get to the uk so i can put on a jacket too but i am not putting my hat my long awaited mimi hat not a chance am I putting it in a suitcase to get smushed. Because you know what kind of material that type of hat's made out of, like that felted stuff. So I wore it on my head on the plane. <laughs> and I remember I was walking through a terminal or something and there was a like security personnel at the entrance of the tunnel who just lifted it straight up off my head. But like, what did you get back? Yes. Okay. I would have... I, I would have I would have cried so I would have probably fought her for it back and be like that's mine beat her up. Yeah, as we were walking by, she literally just like a like a claw machine game, just out of nowhere, said nothing, reached over as I was walking by, grabbed the hat by the 
top of it and lifted it up my head and then off my head and started looking inside it. I like stopped the second it lifted and turned around like, what are you doing? That's mine. She said absolutely nothing the entire time too. She was silent. I think I was like seven-ish, maybe. I was in primary school, so I was definitely under the age of 10. Um, but yeah, she just like took it straight off my head and started looking inside it. And I had no idea what she was doing. I remember asking my parents afterwards because I was there like, I would like that back, please. I'll bite you. Oh, hi. Uh, Monica ha Halili? Monica Halili, hello. Oh, it's Mocha. Hi. Welcome. You're so cute. Thank you. No, you. Here. <laughs> Welcome, Mocha. Sorry. <laughs> I was like discussing how someone at the airport robbed my Digimon hat. They gave it back because I like stood there staring and eventually they <laughs> oh the line art here crosses the fingers I goofed I goofed yes did you have you ever had something taken off you in an airport that like was totally unjustified or that you didn't know uh, okay. now's not the time to confess to like smuggling stuff <laughs> My mom bought me like a cute cat, right? It was, it's like a. Hi, Calico. Really Sorry. Cat. Yes. And, um, and it was like in a little basket, right? And you had to put batteries in it. At the oh, I think I've seen them. The lid, uh, it will like go. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> we see those. Those are so cute. So we, we didn't take the battery off because I don't know what it did. And when we went through the, the security, it would always go. <laughs> and then like and then, like the superior guys are like what you have a cat somewhere I'm like mm -hmm. really? and the cat was hidden somewhere in one of the handheld log lug luggages and we took so long to find it uh, eventually they found it and i think they wanted to like toss it no you know? no like, no you can't and they just kept running through the security and it just kept meowing. And um, it, it's a fuzzy memory. But I think after a while, they took the battery out and it stopped meowing. And then they let us through. They really wanted to toss the cat <laughs> in the bin. No. I bet the only reason they wanted to toss the cat is because they were mad it took so long to find it. And yeah. it was just a toy. I remember those. I wanted one so badly. I think I saw those on holiday as well. Like the realistic little cute kitties. They're, they're, they're cute. Imagine if you brought your Goodit hammer. <laughs> the Goodit hammer that's like noise activated. Oh, I switched it off. <laughs> I switched it off. Well, welcome Calico. Hello, we're drawing the Digimon today. Yumi is doing Terriamon and I'm drawing Lotmon. So it's kind of like, it's like a themed collab we're doing. But well, Yumi's is 3D model. Also, welcome Squeaky, you overstreamed. Did you have fun though? You seemed like you were having fun, so I didn't say anything. No, those, those cats, I remember begging for one. And my parents were like, no, because some pooey reason or the other, they wouldn't let me. I'm surprised they tried to throw the whole thing out, but also not. Because that one woman was like really mad that she didn't find something wrong with my hat. She seemed really mad about it. I just remember how angry she looked for some reason. Because it was like really big. Maybe. Maybe. Like, as an adult, she was probably... She may have been looking for, like, smuggled goods of some variety, I guess. But the way she went about it was, like, proper rude. And then, for some reason, she was just so angry. And she gave it back really begrudgingly. And I remember asking my parents, like, why was she taking my hat? What was wrong with her? Why was she so mad? And my parents were like, 
my parents' excuse, because I was just a kid, was to say, oh, maybe she just really liked it and was trying to look for a tag so she knew where you got it from. Is what my parents said. Maybe, I think maybe it's like a... Uh, I believe you, you have like a following, maybe. Potentially. And Potentially. Uh, maybe maybe they thought it was like oh that hat is way too cool <laughs> but I'll take it now imagine if she really did was thinking oh damn a Mimi hat yeah. I want one of those that, that's why I was thinking it's the only reason I want to spy now that you're live I want to like Come and observe. How do I mute a window so you don't mute tab? There we go. Because it's on desktop and then everyone will hear you echo. So I had to mute real quick. Oh, wow. A mint colored cube. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're like, wow, mint colored cube. I'm like, what? <laughs> it, well, it was a cube and then you turned it into a shape with more sides than a cube. So yes, Yumi's 3D modeling. But Yumi is very, 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 very talented at 3D modeling. Like, her 3D models are stunning. I think I've mentioned before. So. I think maybe next time when we, uh, actually, but I'll tell you after. I'll tell you after. Okay. Regeki, that's not for that. Poo. Stinky. Stinky poo. Thank you. We got um a new Welsh dresser. Hi, Squeaky. And um we have our carpet. So you know our carpet, our rug. And it's one way on the floor, but because it's so dense, um, when we put the dresser in place. It made it wonky and do that thing where, like, the table starts rocking. Yep. So, where's my anchor points gone on this? Fuck it, I'll draw it again. Um, so, we had to change the way around the orientation of the rug was facing. But couldn't be bothered lifting the sofa, so I've rolled it. It's partially rolled up, which means the underside of the rug, which is, like, it kind of looks like tiny thin tubes of wood and then thread weaving stuff but the cats really like to claw at it so please do not do that <laughs> i do not want to have to buy a second rug Ugeki. i like a edward um I was gonna say, I can't remember. Sorry, Squeaky says that you pillayed Fallout, and Yumi is logged. Why is she? Why is she a log? What was that meant to say? I think you got auto corrected. I don't know. What, I don't know what he means. Me do. Uh. For context for people watching, I'm using the pen tool here to get the try and get the circle shape more accurate. I could just use the circle tool, but the circle tool doesn't look right to me. In the wrong layer, I would be. Here we go. What layer am I on? It's supposed to be on the art layer. There. How have you been, Calico? We're still doing Miku 100, but today we're having a little Digimon break. Because people generally are like content with um, the Miku stuff, but also want to see some other, some variety. So nothing's been stopped, it will be picked up pretty soon. 
I know in the poll we did a vote for um to see if people were interested in more Miku Miku Beam or Miku 100 and surprisingly the Beam actually is winning which is surprising to me because that's an OC an original character project as opposed to Miku I kind of expected Miku to be more popular which is flattering but Still surprising. These balloons, it looks so bald to me. <laughs> one one of the one of the balloons looks really bald to me, but that's where I'm gonna put like the shine and stuff as well, because it's meant to be a balloon, so it's meant to look a little goofy. Like if I was drawing a goomy mon, I would oh. No, not you, Palmon. If I was drawing an actual, actual Digimon, Gumimon, I'd make it less goofy. And more, a little bit cuter, but it's a balloon. How many times have you ever seen a character balloon that looks good? I feel like even the ones at Disneyland look wonky. Like that Mickey Mouse balloon. Yeah, like that, the popular, the cheapest one they do, I think, is that Mickey Mouse one where this, like, it's just meant to be the head and ears. Every time I see it, his head is, like, more like an oval. It looks bad. Yeah. Have you seen how un unfortunate those balloons look deflated, though? How, how unfortunate? Yes. It was a parent that said it, and she was like, Hey guys, so I went to Disneyland with my toddler, and obviously my toddler wanted a balloon, so I bought a balloon. And yeah, today it popped, and it looks like this. And she held it up, and you know how like a balloon is like a kind of like a little, you know what a deflated balloon looks like normally, right? But she held it up and it was basically a tiny wiener. What? Tiny wiener. It looks like a tiny wiener deflated. Think about how the balloon looks with the ears and the head. The head Wait. that's more of an oval. I'm I'm let me pause while I'm doing. Can you tell me that again? The Mickey Mouse the standard Mickey Mouse balloon that has no detail on and just kinda has the ears at the top and then is a little bit overly. And it's meant to be like a Mickey Mouse head, but it's not got the face on it. Yeah. Deflated looks like a tiny wiener. Oh my, oh my god. So can you imagine the shock on this mother's face when her toddler came running in holding it? Like, oh no! Oh my god. And she said she spent like a solid afternoon trying to work out where it had come from. And it took her way too long to realise it was the Mickey Mouse balloon deflated. You're welcome. I take a lot of little side quests sometimes. <laughs> Some... I'm just like, have to pause everything and like, what? <laughs> like, here you go, an illustration just for you. That squeaky just put you me again? I, I don't know. I can read your chat. I'm not reading on my side. I can't do like. Did you have a least favorite Digimon? What me? Yeah. Uh... Oh, I do. There is one I hate so much, and I think it's the first, maybe the first one or. Well, I don't know if it's the first one you encounter, I, but I remember seeing I cut this kid. I mean, in fact, the other, like, a couple of hours ago, I was talking to someone about it. The one I hate was the one that looked like doo doo. A doogie! So yes. Yeah. I hate him. Like, He's. Like, can we not? There's like a doo doo. And then his. Digimon move, his like signature move is literally he throws little pink poos. Oh my god. I, I didn't I didn't know that that 
Well, I don't know. I can't remember them. But for, like, he throws pink poos? Yeah, it throws pink poos. In the anime, I distinctly remember the scene because it was when they'd all been separated and it was Mimi and Helmon and she sees it on the floor like a little pink swirl of something and she was like, is that hair mousse? <laughs> and no, they're little poos, the move. It's like how, you know, like Helmon has like the poison whips. And it's called Poison Ivy. When she uses the move, the move is called Poison Ivy. And for Agumon, it's either Baby Fire or Pepper Breath, depending on whether it's the Japanese or English. Yeah. So for the Sukum, I think it's Sukumon, for the Poop one, his move is literally called Poop Throw. Oh, her audio is low on your stream, but I brought her volume up. I'm bring it up again. I've brought... She's on the max now. Oh, that's what you were trying to say. L Yumi is low. Okay. Well, I brought her volume up again. Yumi, tell us about how much you love Poopmon. Poopy stinky mon. <laughs> Oh, now I can't hear you at all if you are talking. Did you bring the desktop audio up? Ah, uh, I can do that. Okay, I've turned up everything. But she's currently not talking unless I accidentally left the chat. Ah, oh, she's got some stream issues. Her stream's disconnected at the minute. Internet's down. No. Uh, oh, you're back. Hello. What the heck? Wait, is it just died? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back. Am I reconnected? <laughs> is the stream reconnected? I don't know. I can see Terry and Mon on your stream now. Okay, it's connected. I'm having issues where my internet just dies up. This time. And I don't know why. It's because your uh, mom is streaming the new hit romance, Chicken Nugget. <laughs> it's on Netflix. It. Not yet, not yet. Oh, oh my god. Because we were finishing a series. I'm so excited, though. Maybe I'll just download it and, and watch it. Uh, oh, yeah. Hmm. And then we can discuss on on my Plex, but I don't know. I was gonna blame it on my Plex because I've you know filling my Plex with like movies, but I've been getting disconnected way before doing stuff to my Plex. I I don't know why I keep getting cut off. Uh, we need to fight them for it. Maybe I'll just fight them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But yes, Chicken Nugget has dropped on Netflix. The context. Making huh? Making me hungry. Oh, yeah, Chicken Nuggets, actually. You know, instead of saving that, you know, the person that got turned into a Chicken Nuggie, I would just eat it. Yeah. I've seen, like, <laughs> I've seen clips. I've seen some clips. But, yeah. So it's kind of like a romance, I assume, comedy mix um, about a girl who works somewhere and I don't know if she's actually dating the love interest, but there is a guy that has a crush on her. Um, yeah, she gets turned into a literal chicken nugget, though, and from what I've seen, they've just got to try and work out which chicken nugget she is. Which chicken nugget? So also, I'm copying the eyes across in the sketch, which is something I've I never do. But that's because these are balloons. 
So it's meant to look printed. So copy and pasting features across and keeping that symmetry there makes it look a bit rigid, but works because it's replicating a manufactured printed item rather than a natural item. So it's like with Lotmon, I actually drew both eyes as opposed to these. Because sometimes stuff can look kind of rigid if you copy it. Like, have you seen Yumi? You know, like when people will draw a character and they'll draw it in a symmetrical pose and then like cut it in half and, and like put it together. That's what I'm doing right now, but yes. <laughs> Yeah, but you're 3D modeling, so it's a bit different. <laughs> it saves time. It saves time. It does save time. It's just something I avoid with illustrative work. But free, if you're making 3D models, the symmetry kind of matters, you know? <laughs> Why am I? Oh, yeah. I forgot the thing on its thod. British slang for forehead. <laughs> I was just looking at it going, I bet if I drew Kalumon from memory, I the bit I'd forget is the detail on its head. I'd get it all right, and then I'd end up sat there looking at it going, something's missing, and it's going to be the thing on its head. And I immediately just basically did just that. I wonder if it's a like a... Fur pattern or like a gem on its head or something. What for? What? what which one? Oh, Kalumon, the, the white, the the white fairy looking kind of one. Like it's a little bit angelic in vibes. One that's not a bunny. And then the thing on its head. I'm wondering what it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, layers, everything on. Almost done with the baseline art, at least. Oh, yeah, Squeaky Astro Blaze has uh, the weekend off. Uh, she plans to do many, many animation. I'm kidding. Okay, that's the baseline out on my end. Cute. I have a little reference image. Little baby. What do you think of when you see the colour combo of brown and pink? Do you think of anything in particular? Because it always reminds me of strawberry chocolate. What are this? Yeah, like if you see the colour combo of brown and pink. Chocolate, of course. Strawberry <laughs> chocolate every time. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to make it like brownie pinky, you know, like chocolate. Well, I was, I was going to paint it in a way of food colour. Yes. I just be like, I mean, people like brown, oh, not brown. <laughs> Chocolate, strawberry. So. I like brown chocolate. <laughs> brown. <laughs> but like, I mean, <laughs> that's a pretty common colour for chocolate, sure. <laughs> I'm agreeing with that one, though. And then Voteramon, like marshmallowy, I don't know, or limey, like soda colour. I, I love lime. The lime pie, delightful. Lime is the flavour I expect when I eat lemon. So the tanginess flavour I expect when I eat lemon is what I get when I eat lime. Right. I'm not going to eat the bunny though, don't worry. Protect the bunny. Oh, I've got a software crash. It's okay. What? They crash? Yeah, it's okay. Because when it crashes like this, the keyboard shortcut for saving it usually still works. Did it crash? Yeah, the live's still running, so I'm just saving it now to the desktop. There's a Lopmon with balloons. Crazy. 
I hate it when it, when things crash. Mm hmm Yeah. The keyboard's shortcut always saves a life, so now it's currently a thumbnail I'm working on whilst I uh, reopen the lot more. <laughs> there you go, what do you think of the thumbnail, guys? Can you guess which stream it's for? It's for another drawing stream, actually. That's Lotmon. We're back. Cute. This is when it's like we end up doing a bunch of different Digimon streams. And it's like, okay, now we need another duo Digimon. Let's go. <laughs> okay, this time you draw Lotmon and I'll draw Terriamon. Yeah. Become biased, just keep drawing bunnies. This time we'll draw them as train conductors and give them a little hat. Next time we can draw them as cowboys. I don't know. As what? Hellboys? <laughs> cowboys, but sure, hellboys. Wreak havoc. Oh my god. I do like the pastels in the. Canon colour hues. Very cute. You know, I have a shirt. I don't like... In terms of, um, like, fashion, I like things that are quite colourful or pastel. So, like, bright colours, pastels, uh, designs and stuff. I don't wear a lot of subtle. That, or I have acquired recently quite a few vintage, like, retro dresses and stuff. That they're very pretty. I can show you next time you're over. Um, so when it comes to like some fashion types prefer from some fashion style fashion styles lean more into like greys and beiges, right? Or browns. Which there's nothing wrong with. It's just personally I don't I prefer colours. But someone gave me a pajama top when I was in hospital because I was like I got br brought in in an emergency right and I needed pajamas so someone basically just went to the shop and grabbed something that was in the nearby store because time and it was not mon colored and it was just this plain pastel bait pastel brown chocolatey color with nothing on it and I'm like usually I'd hate something like this but my brain's recognized that it's the same color as Lotmon so this one gets a pass I like this one <laughs> I was just embroider a little bunny on it but yes do you remember the coat that I got recently that I showed you with all the colours and like tufted patches and stuff. I feel like that is a good a testament to I don't think Jacroa wants to wear beige today. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but yes. It's like for context to chat again. I think it's like the body of it is like bright red with bright blue sleeves. It's like a bomber jacket style, but then it's got loads of tufted patches all over it. It's just primary colours. It's like someone called it in with like standard cartridges from a printer. <laughs> I'm going to take a peek at your Terrier Mondo. Doing his tummy. Yes, because Terry wants a round boy, so I have to <laughs> extrude it. What's the easiest thing to 3D model, do you think? Or the easiest thing that you've personally 3D modeled so far? I haven't modeled it, but Kirby would be the easiest. <laughs> Kirby would be the easiest. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> is easy, everything is hard. Mm. Did you even like how much reshaping was needed for Kirby out of curiosity, or is it like just a standard set? Your, your Kirby boy is just round boy. Even Orb. Like, 
much. Uh, probably might have to fix like, cause it's so round. It it doesn't need to be like pure round, but you know, might have to like fix it. Uh, the amount of like roundness it needs so it needs to be too round. Kirby would be easiest. So Kirby's like. Kind of round, but you have to squish him a little bit. Something like that? Yeah. Oops. What was the uh, best and worst thing you had to 3D model? Best or uh, worst yeah. thing you 3D modeled? The worst thing to 3D model? Yes. Uh, okay. Um, I think the worst one was probably like... Trying to like mod well, no, I wouldn't say it's worse. Like it's on our experience, I guess. I think the worst was trying to trying to model like a full uh environment. Like even modeling a bedroom is killing me. Oh, how does that work? Because like, how do you know how big to make a room? So like, if you're gonna ask, if you were commissioned to three D model a bedroom. How would you know how big necessarily to make that? Like, let's say the person that's hiring you doesn't know the dimensions, but they know that they want a bedroom. So what? So what you would like do is, um, if if I was to model the bedroom, like one to one, uh, over the current bedroom, I would, well, I would have to go to the place and measure it out. Or if I if they're far away, and they, and I can't visit, then just ask them to take photos from corner to corner, that kind of thing, or like get a good view of the whole ass of bedroom in a in a specific angle. Uh, and but then it depends: are we modeling it so that they can use it as like a three D exploring thing? Because if it's a three D exploring thing, you have to be there physically to start measuring out. In centimeters, mm. the only accurate measure. The only accurate me measure that's like good. Because if it's any other width, it's just messy. Um, the best would be the best thing at modeling is probably like cutesy things. But then I'm just like, that just depends what you like, though. Mm. I just like all cute things. Uh, and I can't say any anything that's being modeled is easy. Nothing is easy. If I say it's easy, I'm just coping. <laughs> Yeah, but the, it's it's like so everything's tricky, but some things are trickier than others. Yeah, there are some people who like okay, there are people who love guns. They love it so much. I feel like they literally dream about guns. They just love guns so much. They can model guns without needing to go to a museum or go to like um some place where they can see a full gun dis uh, disassembled. All the parts. There's so many parts, right? For guns. I don't even understand. I can't even comment on guns. There's just some people who just can model a gun without needing to see one. I mean, I guess it makes some sense to spec a bunch of skill points, so to speak, into being able to whip, like, just make weaponry. At speed, considering guns are just a popular weapon of choice in video games, really. Yeah. They're, they're just, you know, really popular to model. I remember going on so many field trips, essentially, to the armory in Leeds. It's like it doesn't matter which school you go to and where. Someone on the school board is like, oh, we should go to the Royal Armoury in Leeds. And someone goes, oh, yeah, let's do it. And, like, everyone seems to have been there. 
Everyone that's studied art or video games that I know of seems to have had a school trip along the line to there, or like a university or college. Squeaky clean friends Jack made guns for Starfield. You know someone that made guns for Starfield? Called Jack? Or like a friend of Jack? Who's Jack? <laughs> I don't know any Jack. I knew a Jack in... I knew a Jack in high school. <laughs> Those kind of people just live and breathe guns. That's it. People, uh, yeah. Gosh, I remember... Um, so in the UK, it's quite difficult to get hold of a gun, even if you went a non-legal route of it. And when my grandparents passed away, oh, it was Squeaky's friend, Jack. That's pretty cool then. Uh, when my grandparents passed away, and my auntie was like going through their stuff because they were trying to find things like the will and information on other stuff, photos and things. Um, they encountered a cupboard that had a big lock on it, and they were like, hmm, what's inside this locked cupboard? They don't have a safe, so logical conclusion, it's got to be where they keep their important documents. Ugh. Oh, I've moved the layer. I goofed. Um, yeah. It's crashed again, damn. It might be much luck today. Um, so yeah, lock cupboard, no safe. That's gonna be where the important documents are. And then they got the lock off the cupboard and they opened it up and it was absolutely brimmed with different guns. There was a humongous variety of weaponry in there, from like smaller handhelds to really big ones. Uh I think there was a shotgun, there was all sorts. It was just a massive collection. And my auntie was like, what do we do with this? And my mom's like, Dem! and my auntie's like, no. And called the police, basically. Okay. She, she was like, she didn't know what to do, what else to do. So yeah, she like called the police and was like, hey, so I'm like, clearing out after the deceased and they're like okay and she's uh i've opened a cupboard and there's just a uh, a lot of guns and the people the cops were really confused about it and kind of useless and they were like what do you mean because they thought it was weird that someone would call and report that for some reason yeah and she's like listen listen I, there aren't any licenses or anything being kept with this weaponry. I didn't know that my mum had all this weaponry and I don't want to be caught transporting or with it in my possession because I don't know no, where, why she has these. Now, they did go to a shooting range occasionally, but that would imply, you know, like a certain type of gun. I don't know my weapons to name, but... Not the range that she had necessarily. Because there are also some guns that you just aren't allowed to have in the UK. And a lot of the time, people aren't allowed to keep guns at their property. And one of the rules of having them is you must be enrolled in a some sort of shooting, shooting range, gun club. What, that's what it's called, gun club. And you need to keep your weapons there quite often, I think. But there they all were. And then the police were like not believing her. And eventually she was like, just come over, just come to this address. And eventually she got one to actually come to the address and they set basically sent over the new kid. They sent they, over the new kid. Basically, yeah. They thought that it was like some lady overreacting. And it was like a BB gun or something. Cause they literally said on the phone that people are allowed BB guns. And yeah, he uh, was very, very scared when he entered the room. And she was like, I told you. I told you. And he was freaking out as if she was the psycho. Uh, so he ended up leaving, getting someone else, and eventually they took all the guns in. So they can basically, they locked them away somewhere secure 
until we could find proof that the guns were legally obtained with a license and that we could prove we had a locked location to restore them in because another rule is if you have them at home you must have a lock on the door i know little rules literally because of what we experienced with this okay but yeah it's the way that she called told them what they'd found and what was going on and they still just they just wouldn't believe her and yeah if they'd have caught her like driving home with all that they would not have believed her if she'd have said, yeah, I was just moving them, you know? Because even then, I'm not sure if that's legal either. I'm not sure if I like the colours on the eyes. It looks a bit better now I've zoomed out. kind of want to make Lotmon darker because now it looks washed out by comparison. So I think I might make him darker. Yeah, I kind of it's much prefer that, that shade. Pardon? It's just the base of the colour for now. It is. It's going to look less weird once it's got shading. But I might make the actual Lotmon less, more pigmented because it's pale. Yeah, it's cute. What do you do with the eyes? Okay. I'm going to peek at your stream. Well, you're doing the arms now. Oh! I joined in just as you, like, extruded, and now it's like, oh my gosh, suddenly it's the entire body. Oh, that looks so cute. Suddenly, I need to. I need to fix it. It looks so squishy. Need a lot of fixing. This is far from. This is gonna take oh um a lot longer. <laughs> this won't be finished in in a single stream. We just need to ship you a coffee. Ship what? Ship a coffee. A super coffee. Like three espressos in a cup level. I'm gonna live on coffee for the rest of my life. <laughs> okay, to make sure we've got a base, we're gonna color this in. That is, I'm not looking at that color for 10 minutes now. <laughs> Calumon is white, so the plan is to color it in in blue to make sure we've not missed anything. And then I will use a layer mask to change the colour back to the colour it's going to be. There's the big rain plan here. So I can definitely see everything. That way we can pretend it's a shiny. Wait, is there a shiny? I don't think there is shiny, right? No, there isn't shinies in Digimon. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know they have, um, they have similar colours, like Yuki, you have Agumon. And then you have Yuki Agamon, which is just a white Agamon. It's the same. It's just white. And there is black Agamon that's a black Agamon. With Botamon, there's also Botamon and Yuki Botamon. I've noticed that when they make a white variation of a Digimon, they call it Yuki. But with other colors, they usually call it their color in English. I think... Because Yuki means snow, doesn't it? Yeah. But like with other colours, they just call it the colour. They don't give it anything pretty. What, in English or what? Yeah. So in the English version of Digimon, so like right. Yuki means snow. We have Agumon. We have Yuki Agumon. And Yuki Agumon is literally exactly the same as Agumon but he is white. And then you have Black Agumon, who is also just exactly the same as Agumon, but he's been colored in black. But they don't pick a word, a fancy, like, cute or pretty term to call it something else. You just get, like, Black Agumon. 
Whereas with the white variant, you get snow. I mean, it's because the show's with kids. <laughs> and we're just... Yeah, I think it's just because the show is with kids. Like, if we make it, like, super complicated, I don't either. I won't even understand either. Astro Blaze, I'm back. I've, re uh, I've returned. Did I miss anything? Well, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that one time my auntie found a bunch of guns in my grandmother's house. And now we're also discussing Digimon names. <laughs> We've gotten this far. I'm thinking of recolouring Lotmon potentially because it looks washed out, but it might not wa look washed out once I've shaded the balloons. So I want to try and make the balloons look a bit more plushy. You know in supermarkets when they have them toy figure balloons at the checkout and they're really ugly? They're usually like Peppa Pig. But they do this thing where they've got kind of flat panels for like arms and legs where it's made of balloon material, but they've kind of, like, sewn little creases into it to make it flat. I don't know if this is making any sense, but that's the look I'm going for, for the wing-like bits on Kalomon's head. For the different Agumon variations, Squeaky Clean's put in chat, Toy Agumon, Black Agumon, Black, no, Toy Agumon, Black Toy Agumon, Clear Toy Agumon, Agumon Expert, Fate Agumon Expert, Agumon X, Yuki Agumon, and more. So that's just to name a few. And they all just look like Agumon, but in different colours. Um, the toy Agumons look like Agumon made out of Lego, which is cute at least. And Agumon Expert and Fate Agumon Expert are uh, Agumons wearing lab coats. <laughs> the, the Yumi was too stunned to speak. <laughs> Wait, let me search. Because this is new to me. Mm. Uh, let me load that thing up. Toy Agumon. Mm. Toy. When these features in which wait, Digimon Adventure Digimon Adventure O two okay Digimon Adventure is listed as I can see as one of that was before. I feel like there'd be some reflection of this two up here, you know. Black toy agum. I don't know what Joe movie they were featured in, they debuted in, but I remember them from the game. So the first time I saw them was the video game, personally. Were they in video games? Yes. Um, uh, Dawn and Dusk. For the DS, not Switch. I almost said Switch. Love's back. Hi. Hey. How are you? We're drawing some Digimon. I'm currently thinking about... So I've got Terriamon with some other Digimon as balloons. Um, I'm drawing Lotmon today. And Yumi in voice chat is drawing Terriamon. Squeaky clean, you still can't hear me. She wasn't talking. She is on... The desktop claims it's picking her up. But Yumi is in chat with us, and B is doing Terriamon. So they're kind of like twin bunnies. They're similar in design, but not in colour mostly. And Yumi's making a 3D model. I'm going to end my stream on my side. Is it because of the internet? I feel like I might get disconnected.
Oh. I mean, I'll yeah, I'll be on your side though. I don't know why. I don't are know why my my internet is just so funky. Are you still gonna make the terrier man? Yeah. Yay. I'm still gonna make it. This is gonna. This is gonna. I need at least a whole ass week. <laughs> at least a week. I don't think I can finish this in a day. Still, you've got you've got some inspiration. You've got a project for the week. That's still fun. Yeah. It's a shame that the stream's bugging. You have to tell your mum that she needs to stop watching Chicken Nugget. Honestly, Chicken Nugget. <laughs> That's what she's doing. She's streaming Chicken Nugget. <laughs> Love, sorry I was late last time I had school. It's okay, school's important. Did you have school today? Hope you had a fun day. And like fun lessons. And stinky poopy lessons. Then again, everyone's idea of a stinky poopy lesson is different. Does that look like reflections on a balloon? So that's what I was going for, like colour reflections. Are you going for like shiny? Super shiny, uh, super shiny balloon. Yes, so it's going to need a few layers to layer it up. And at the moment, I'm I've done like a base, kind of off white, and then some white base highlights. And with the highlights, I'm trying to layer in some color shine reflectiveness from the other two balloons. Okay. Oh my gosh! Love says I had six exams. In one day! One day! Who scheduled that? Who schedules exams? I need a word with them. I need a word. And a room. And maybe a mallet. How can they expect you to do your best during an exam if you've already done, like... I'm sorry, but any more than one. If I've done, got two exams in one day, I'm already going to be feeling, oh, by the second one? Let alone more than two. I think two would be the max. But six, that's like back to back. And then the pressure of having to exit one exam hall and get to the next one. Yikes. What were your exams in? Not that it really matters in terms of stress. I remember my art exam was like six hours long, but they broke it up into sections. So we had to do six hours total, but it was like you might do two hours. We we did like two hours a day over a set few days, I think. No, I think we had one day where we just got a full day in the art exam room, but because I enjoy art, it was it was a nice break. And then we were two hours left, so we just did them on the next day. If I like blur it, uh, I'm not sure I like it in blur. Mm, you mean the highlight? Yeah, I think the, maybe leave out the blur. The blur didn't look right with it. Lower opacity. Lowered opacity looks a bit better. Well, it's better than the blur. See if it works with color mode. Uh, what do you what with color mode specifically? What, oh, when it's fully like colored. Ah, uh, okay. I'll add the darker shades to it. Uh, love, we have seven to eight hours of school. Seven to eight? But you did an exam in math, Slovenian, English, art, biology, and human. <laughs> human? What? Human? Ooh, is that like a medical course or something? That is interesting, actually. We don't have any sort of course like that. We have biology. We have biology courses, but then anything specialist, 
like medical or forensic would be something we'd do at college later. Got like some slight darker shades on the creases. Getting kind of hungry. Me too. <laughs> Was it because we discussed chicken nugget? Yeah. Darn chicken nugget. I feel like it's like someone heard the sentence, would you love me if I was a worm? And like kind of took it literally, but so that it didn't seem like he was copying homework, changed it to a chicken nugget. <laughs> like, would you love me if I was a chicken nugget? Yes. Yes, my queen, I would. <laughs> so yeah, it's like a biology course. Or not biology, like um, a medis medical course. Okay. So it's really interesting. You know, I could put some extra highlights on the bits that are like color reflections from the other two balloons. I don't know if that'll make look any different. Not sure. I need to grab another reference. Okay. I don't know how pudgy from the side view. Apparently. Apparently, Terra Mon is really pudgy. They are the little chubby guys. They're cute, though. Did you at least enjoy any of your subjects? Were there any of those your favorite subjects, maybe? I feel like for me personally, I'd enjoy, I know I'd enjoy art. I'd find a medicine and biology interesting. So I like them and I am okay. I'm pretty good at English. So the only exam there, obviously I'd have hated the fact that they were all back to back, but subject matter wise, the only one there that I would have been like crying about in terms of I can't stand this subject, I'm so bad at it, is maths. <laughs> maths was the worst subject for me. So every time it was like something math related, I'd be like sobbing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do math. I don't need to learn how to add. I do have a calculator in my pocket all the time. It's my phone. So that's what teachers used to be, will say to you, like, you won't always have a calculator on you. It's like, yes, I will. I'm not not going to have my phone. Uh, love, and in Slovenia, you have like a big test called an NPZ. And we have it in May, and it has all the things you had in the last three years? Huh? Like an ultimate memory test? I hate, oh, that's so much pressure. That's more pressure than just the exams. Ultimate memory test. No, that's terrifying. Regeki, stop it. You know that's not for you. Regeki's the cat, for anyone listening that isn't aware. <laughs> you me, if you had a cat, what would you call it? Do you have like any go-to names for cats or like pets? I know some people have them pre-planned. Uh, I would either... Name it Mochi or well it depends if, if on the appearance. If if it's white and fluffy, maybe Mochi. 
Oh, it's just so squishy and just doesn't move very much. Um, That's a very suiting name. Maybe... I don't know. <laughs> That's the only name I've settled for so far. Pretty good I name. I do have a pet rabbit called Kiki. That is cute. Uh, but um, because we were on holiday, I'm so sure she. They were. F- there, someone was feeding them, and um, but apparently, um, he didn't eat the food or the water. Hmm. I think might have died of out of loneliness. I believe. Oh, it is pretty sad. We also we used to have budgies. Why well, had budgies as a kid? In, you like you have to buy them in pairs. Yeah. If you don't buy them in pairs, and they get like, one of them will get lonely. And what happened was that at the time, um, someone wanted to have the window open. Oh no. They wanted to let the the budgies come out to, like, fly around, right? And the blue budgie found the escape option and just left. Completely just bolted. Oh, no. And then, like, it it got really sad. Um, the yellow budgie was, started getting depressed. Each day, it wouldn't, like, eat food, wouldn't drink any water. It felt in depression. It was really, really sad. And uh, we tried to give the the yellow budgie more water, but the budgie would not drink water. Knowing that the other the budgie partner left and never came back, it was pretty sad. I feel like like so pet death. Why I don't get pets mm-hmm. at this time. Because they get really lonely, and if you don't have another one, then, you know, it's like, it gets really sad. Mm. I feel like Rugeki was, like, quite lonely, and then we got the pedal. And now he regrets being lonely, because now his baby brother is always annoying him. So we got Pebbler's kitten, so it was very much little baby annoy you, yes, thank you. It was really cute. And now now Pebbles just annoys him professionally. Pebbles like I want food. Feed me. Pretty much. He's the scoff food. Pretty much, and yeah. Because it looks tasty apparently. Runs in. Can I eat? No. Well, I've lost interest. Goodbye. That is pebble. So Love says, yeah, pretty much have to do it every fucking year. Every year. Imagine once a year if school made us do a a test of memory of just absolutely everything we've learned that year. That sounds awful. Gives me PTSD. Sounds awful. So for the UK tests, at least our tests are in themes. There are themes for it. Um, so it's like, this is your geography, this is your math, this is your English, and you know exactly which theme you have to cover. We never have a test that's just everything. That sounds so intimidating. I'm sorry you have to... Sorry. Have you at least got yourself a nice treat for doing all that today? I can only... what you, I can only imagine the treat that I would deserve if I came home and was like, I did six tests today, six exams. I deserve a little treat. I'm not sure where I'd start for that little treat. But you've definitely earned a little treat. Hmm. So I need to consider where my light source is going to be. 
those ones are a little bit more 3D. But they are looking quite plush. So usually when I do light source, I will make a new layer. And on that layer, I'll like pick a light source angle and kind of work from there. So like if I want my light to be coming directly from the top. I don't need that Kalumon reference. Where, is he, where are you? Get out of the way. Uh, yes. So usually, so if light was coming from the top, then the shadow would be, and then I'll just basically like kind of scribble in on them so I can work out where the shadow would be. And then I'll use that as a guide later. But then it gives me a chance to look at the overall shading and work out if it's what I want it to look like or not, you know? Then down here, if Lotmon's beneath it, then realistically there would be some round shadows on them from the blooms. So it implies that all this would actually be shadowed. And then like maybe something like this. Some shadow from the head, this arm's behind there. This leg would be shadowed. Maybe some of that one. So it could be looking at shading like that. Or if I make the light source come from, say, like the right. So, yeah, basically, I'll just take a minute to essentially scribble on my work. <laughs> I'll do the same for highlights too sometimes depends on the look I'm going for uh. With the balloons, I feel like they just have kind of like a general sense of shading on them. Because they're also balloons, so they're going to be highly reflective. So maybe... I think I prefer that one rather than a top-down. So I can just use this as a guide now. To like essentially trace where it is on the outline and work from there. Uh, oh, clear. there we go. Uh, what's my phone? What's up? Love, my brain is too small to remember everything. To be fair, I'm surprised that they do it in general because you you're not the only one. It's just a the memory test on that scale, and to make it so important feels pretty cool. Like, the stress you're going to find, like, they've already found from studies how vastly different people's memories tend to be on things when put under the pressure of a formal exam. So, like, exam pressure does result in people forgetting stuff because of pressure. Oh, I remember my one, like, big success in exam. 
like I've passed exams before, but just one that's one success that stood out to me was my tech exam because basically I went and studied for the test and I printed out all of the lessons that we'd had that year and I looked over them and I literally based on nothing else picked up each slide because they were like presentations and said to myself think that'll be on on the exam I think that won't I think that will I reckon that won't and literally on a whim I had nothing to base it off so the stu- so once I'd narrowed down the pile for the year I then read through the slides and that was how I revised for tech and then when the exam came round I could answer all the questions because literally all of the questions that I'd set aside where I was like I reckon that'll be on an exam I don't think that one will be though was actually right. I'd actually done right. I was like, whoa, how convenient. <laughs> and then there was exactly one question I got wrong, which was a question I knew, but when I was in the exam hall and trying to remember it under pressure, I couldn't remember it, which was the name of a piece of machinery. So it was not machine itself, like, say, a printer. It would be the name of, like, what's the name of the needle that prints the ink onto the page called? It would be something like that. So I couldn't remember the name of the part of a machine. It was the only question I actually got wrong on that exam because I forgot what it was called. But that's a standout exam to me because I'm like, wow, what are the odds that I specifically ended up revising the stuff that was on the exam? Love, I fail every year. In your defense, in your defense, I think that's a really bad idea for an exam set up anyway. Honestly. It doesn't quite sound like a fair judge of your knowledge. Because again, the amount of stuff people forget under pressure. I'm going to go with a slightly darker green on this one. Yumi, are you still in chat or have you logged out? Because you've gone no. very quiet. No. <laughs> are you just concentrating? I thought you'd gone get to get like a drink or something. No, no. <laughs> I'm just like still here. How's your terrier, mom? I'm making its chunky body right now. Okay. I'll call her in this bit of shadow and then I'll come and sneak a peek. I'm not, I, my stream ended. I'll just have to send you a screen. Oh, screen. yeah, you're not streaming. I can't sneak a peek. Yes, send screenshot. <laughs> a screenshot of it. It's just so absolute chonkers. I, I had to grab a, a reference, like, how absolute chunk will this Terrymon be? I didn't know if it was chunky. Chunky boy. Astroblaze, I got lower grades than all my predicted grades in GCSE, even in the subjects I was good at. Exams stuck, love, agreed. Yep. It, you're not on your own. It's so common. It is... Such a common thing. The pressure in exams, uh, the formality of it, sitting in a hall, like all of it, the pressure and the atmosphere just really, really does you no favours. They've done loads of tests to prove that it does no favours and people are statistically more likely to forget something in exam for standard format like that. I don't know why they're still doing it that way, to be honest. Like, the amount of tests that have proven it's a bad idea. And then exam boards are still like, here we go, suffer. It's really not fair. But yeah, you've definitely earned yourself a big treat. <laughs> Oh, let's take a look. Where did you send it? Oh, you sent it down there. Yeah, I tagged you. 
I see. I see. <laughs> oh my gosh, I see him. Is this chunky? <laughs> Turkey or something. <laughs> Did you have to highlight those particular two red squares though? Like, look at the location. <laughs> no, I was stretching <laughs> it. That it, I did not do that on purpose. I was stretching it, its body like out. <sighs> oh my god. So I still feel tempted to change Terriamon's fur to be not Terriamon, I'm doing Lotmon, to change Lotmon's fur to be a bit more pigmented because it seems a bit pale compared to the balloons now. Like it looked fine when I didn't colour the balloons, but now the balloons have pig have colour, he looks really faint. Hi Pebble. Hello, Pebble, hello. I can't see the screen. Are you gonna sit down? You're cuddling? Okay, good boy. Baby. I have a cat. He's fluffy. He says purr. Do you hear purring? Get his pebble. That was cute. Yeah, he's come over to cuddle. Now he's also looking out the window. Nope, he sat on me again. He's awkwardly trying to climb between my shoulders, sitting on my shoulder and sitting on my boobs. Pebble, please. Okay, thank you. They keep walking around me, circling. Do you want me to show your current progress to chat? I can copy the image in and show people. Or you're not ready to share to the world. I mean, they're gonna see a blob. <laughs> exactly. Like, that. like it's a tummy shaped blob. I am not Shiny. surprised if, like, uh, a lot of... No, that just looks like it's got an eyebrow. No way. <laughs> like, I'm not surprised that a lot of people who are, like, 3 modeling, they are more likely not gonna respond or too concentrated, like... Yeah, some people... Yeah. Some people are like that with art, where it's like, they can't talk and draw, they end up getting like really focused. It's okay. I was like, I feel like she's probably just concentrating, but like, what if her internet dipped and she's not said yet? Hello, Pebble again. I don't know why my internet just the blips. Oops. But by the end of it, you'll have like a cute Fiji Terramon. I need like a good shape of the Terramon. A very good shape. I'm just like... So the balloons. So do we change the color of Lotmon or are we okay with the pastels? Of, uh, of. The Lopmon holding the balloons. I suppose it probably is good not to make him the same colour as the balloons because they're balloons <laughs> and he is not a balloon. Sorry, I'm distracted by Pebble. He's being fluffy on me. You fluffy. Fluffy baby says cuddle. You are very talented at saying cuddle, Pebble. Cuddle and purr, two of his talents, but his biggest talent is demanding something to eat.
No, that's too dark. So he's got his paw on my arm. So whilst I'm reaching around to pick colours and stuff, his paw's moving with me in his arm. So it's like he's like trying to draw. There. Probably gonna need a darker color because I'm not. I'm. I was just thinking, like, I think I needed a darker color, but I'll put it on for now and just see what I think about it. And I already hate the shade, so I can still mark out where the shadows are going though. With it, there you go. Like just a little darker, yes. So are you at least home now, love? Are you still at school? I'm still at school, you need a break. And a fun break, not a break that's just another exam in disgrace. I did do some extra Miku line art offline as well. So I've not drawn any new ones. I did do rabbit hole for a reel. No, a YouTube short. And I'm thinking of doing some other line art like colors as well to do a couple of extra reels. So my logic is then there's a chance that more people will see it. If more people see it, we can get more Miku requests in for the rest of the project, which is pretty cool. Also, as far as Vocaloid songs are going, I know that um, Rabbit Hole and Yabba Bina are trending. So that is also a bonus that the audios are trending currently. Considering that they're actually in the project to do a reel with, you know? Then again, wouldn't this be shadowed by the air anyway? So actually the shape would be more like this. Pebble, stop it. Your breath stinks. No, you smell like fish. Stinky cat. He just like started licking, and um, which is unfortunate because stinky. Oh yay, shadows. Oh, also on the pink bit. Nah, that's an ugly colour. Don't like that. Too greyed out. That's really greyed out as well. I don't want greyed out. That's a bit better. Oops. Right, pebble, no. If you're going to do that, pebble, then you're going to have to go up there because I can't see. Stop it. Now pebble's acting all betrayed. 
He gets jealous of screens, which is kind of funny, but also really annoying. So, like, if you're on your Switch or your phone or your laptop, he likes to shove his face in the way. So you can't see anything. And it's like, it doesn't matter how much attention he gets. He just gets jealous. It's like the other day, Squeaky was trying to cuddle Pebble and Pebble wasn't having any of it. So he was like, okay, fine, and left the cat alone and went on his phone instead. And then all of a sudden, Pebble came running back in just to, like, shove his face in the way and purr and be like, oh, yes, me, I want attention now. Now that you've picked up your phone, me, 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 Pebble. This is how that one went. So he does it a little bit when I'm screaming. But he also knows that when I'm streaming, I'm going to be sat still. So he kind of usually is content. But recently, he's starting to get more jealous again. The other day, he nearly turned my laptop off. He put his paw right on the button that says power. But because he also pressed the webcam shutter button, he... The, the computer only registered the camera and didn't register that he'd pressed the power button too. So he almost ended a stream early last stream. There's that as well. Can you imagine just like cutting off midstream as if something dramatic happened and it was just the cat. Fame, the last words would have just been, Pebble not! And then it just cut in silence. I think it'll look even softer again once I do the coloured line art. And I think when they're finished, I'll probably post them as a community post as well. I could post the Palamons I've already done. If people want to see the Palamons, I could start... A ball. Pushing stuff on the floor. I could start posting, posting artwork on YouTube if that's anything I want to be interested in. Because YouTube ha community posts has a option to post pictures so if anyone would actually be interested in seeing art i could start posting art as well well i don't know i don't know if people would want that or if that'd feel cluttery we are an art channel so it has potential Cool. It's really cute. I like Lockmon of Terramon. Are you still doing the tummy? No, the tummy's fine. I'm just connect I'm just like connecting the head. I know part of me was tempted to animate, um, we discussed the idea of like animating the lot, the Terry, uh, Lotmon, but ultimately I couldn't think of what I would make it do. So I just kind of settled for one of the doodles I'd done. Like, I can just do an illustration, it'll be fine. Do a little heart on his ears, that'd be cute. Oh, we've got another crash. It's getting really good at that. We're getting... Yeah, we got another crash. It's done a few of those today. This is the third? But well, it's looking pretty good. Um, Coloured line art is definitely something that's missing. And I think the shading could be worked on a little bit more. 
But then again, the coloured line art really does change a lot. And I've also not done the thickness of the line art yet either. Because I like to do the line art way after it's got colour. So if I was to load a picture of the one of the Palmons I did. I'm bringing it over. There we go. So like I did this one. And you can see that it's got weight in the line art, like different varying, varying thickness. I like to do that sometimes after it's been coloured, but before I colour the line art. Because then I can see which areas need to stand out more. Uh, I also want to make it like extra shiny, whereas with no line art, cursed. <laughs> And the lot one is down here. Ah, uh, here's the color and shading. Okay. It's, it's like, I feel like because these are balloons, there's opportunity to put lots of different color and textures in them. But I don't want to that I'd like to include. But it'd probably be useful to pull up a reference of just round, shiny, white, green, or brown balloons. And work from there, really. Maybe put some deeper shadows on this might help. Because they're looking a little bit flat still, you know? And then again, would this shadow be like rounder considering it's a ball? So I'll put a curve on that maybe? Yeah, I think that is actually helping. Oh. Adding like an extra layer of darkness to the shading, yeah. Like a deeper shadow. It's got some shading, but like I feel like it just needs a bit of extra work. Hi, Pebble again. What's matter? What's matter? Yes. What's matter? You're not getting enough attention. Is that what the matter? What's matter? He came running in singing. He likes to sing, him baby. I couldn't hear any singing. The microphone is too good, you never hear it. <laughs> Pebble, look at this. Sing here. Sing into the... No, not my finger, the microphone. Sing into the microphone. Sing for your people. Tell them. But like, it's, it's a different noise to chirping and meowing, but it's very sweet. Oh, he I likes I, to sing. I think I heard a little bit. He likes to do it. He likes to sing. It's like when he was um in the the cat hospital, he was um they told me on the phone, they were like, Yeah, he's like climbing the walls of his kennel and like singing. He he won't stop. And I'm like, Yeah, he probably wants cuddling, he wants attention, he's a puppy. He's not a puppy, but he's a puppy. He wants to be picked up and held. And Sometimes he likes to just be carried around. So sometimes when I'm doing chores, I will literally just pick him up and carry him 
whilst I'm doing things. And if I don't, sometimes he just follows me around room to room. Which is cute, but also annoying when you've got a cat under your feet because you're trying not to step on the cat under your feet. Yeah. But yeah, he likes to be picked up and cuddled. Oh, you're going to love the new toy we've got him. It's great. He thinks it's his baby. <laughs> What's the new toy? It's a bright yellow feather on a stick. And he thinks it's his baby. He chases it. And plays instantly with it. He loves it. But I've also... He'll walk around with it in his mouth. He'll just carry it. He brings it into bed and cuddles it at night. So, so like, he cuddles it. He also licks it as well. So, like, he'll play with it properly. But then he'll also, like, lick it and cuddle it. And takes it to bed at night. It is his favourite. He treats it like a baby. I was like, I have a new toy now. Abandoned. Pretty much. Else. Pretty much. And he also, like... Oh, that shade's way better. <laughs> he also, when playing with it, um, likes to run... He likes to run in circles when you're playing with any sort of chaseable toy. To the extent of you can make it make him run in circles. He will chase it in circles... And he will run independently in circles. Like, you can see him run past the toy sometimes just because he wants an excuse to run in circles. So this also, like, that. But, yeah. This is his favourite. And he's bringing it everywhere with him. It's his new baby. It's literally a feather on a stick. That's all it is. But when I bought it, the pet shop owner said... So, I'm sorry I have to tell you this, because, you know, you seem intelligent enough, but due to one woman in particular, I have to let people know that when you buy this toy, it is a cat teaser, it is non-refundable, because it is going to get destroyed by your cat. That's kind of the point. I said to him, I was like, yeah, that's the point. If, if, your, if your pet hasn't torn the toy apart, did your, did your pet really like the toy? Your pet clearly doesn't like the toy or play with it if they haven't chewed it to shreds, essentially. That's how animals play. And he was like, yeah, but there was this little old lady the other day that thought otherwise and brought in a mangled pet toy, feather on a stick toy, and said, I want to return this because it's broken. And he was like, I can't refund that. And he And she was insisting that her cat destroyed it and therefore she deserves a refund for it. And it's like, it's... Okay. No, no, lady, go home. <laughs> well, uh, why would you think that the toy would stay intact? The, the toy is gonna get destroyed. Yeah. Well, imagine. Like, she really th wants her toy, to, her cat, to play like that. So, like, how does she expect her cat to play? Did, was she expecting it just to, like, sit and cuddle it? I mean, I know Pebble does, but Pebble's a bit stupid. It's literally a feather on a stick. Like, <laughs> what was she expecting? It to run in a circle and go, thank you, mother, that was a nice run, and then just, like, kind of go to sleep. Maybe, that, maybe she thought that was going to happen. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. It was just going to politely be like, thank you, mother, that is enough playtime for me. Good night. The sad thing is, is if her cat tore it apart, it means that the cat really liked that toy. And because she's, like, got some sort of, like, warped perspective on how her cat should play, it means that she's never going to get the cat that kind of toy again. But the cat clearly liked it if it, like, vaporized the toy. You know? Yeah. See how much softer this is starting to look now that we've started colouring the line art? So this is why you colour your line art. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do the width, actually. God damn it. I forgot to add weight. I literally said I add weight before I do colour. Oh, well. I'm going to finish this anyway.
Well, what's the matter, Pebble? Did you hear a Geki? You're going to bully him. You're going to go see if he has food you can steal. It's impressive that with how food first Pebble is, that he's still not learnt the word food or treat yet. Like, it doesn't react to them terms. Oh my god. That's wild. Not reacting to, like, food? Dinner? Lunch? Edible? Something you can eat? No reaction. No reaction at all. Doesn't even like ear twitch. We got teepsies. Cute. See how much softer with with coloured lines? Without coloured lines. Huge difference. Okay, well, we have reached 10, so that is where stream ends. I'll post it when it's finished as a community post, if it will let me, and share when it is done. Thank you everyone for joining. Astro Blaze, Calico, Love, Squeaky Clean, everybody we've seen in chat. Monica, Monica too. Oh, Mocha, it was Mocha, hello. So thank you everyone for joining. Uh, the next stream, my stream schedule is Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday, 8pm till 10pm UK time. And 